G'day guys, Skylar Stardust here. I'm just a dragon that plays video games. Welcome back to Super Mario RPG. In the last episode, we traveled through a bunch of Smithy's factory, even though we did end up missing a boss battle due to a glitch, but that's okay. In this episode, we will be pushing on. I have forgotten how big Smithy's factory is, so let's start drifting by immediately falling off a platform because I suck at video games. <laughs> Great start. All right. Oh, okay. You're just gonna take me back. I don't really want to go back. <laughs> I don't really want to go back. Thank you. Oh, jumped into that little boo there. All right. I'm not sure exactly how big Smithy's factory is, or how close we are to beating it, so I don't know. <clears throat> there were a bunch of save points though, like really early on. But I suppose that's because A, I think I'm slightly overleveled, just slightly, and B, and B, I'm having a brain fart. <laughs> B, I guess it's because maybe I just played through this area and then, you know, it glitched out and bad stuff happened. So, I s I don't know. And I missed. As soon as I tapped A and didn't hear the action command activating, the timed hit, I suppose. Sorry, I've been playing a bit of Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door on live streams lately, so I'm used to calling... The thing is, I grew up calling them action commands, and then this game's like, oh, they're called timed hits in this game, and I was like, well, you're the first game in the series, but you also didn't release in Australia for, like, ten years or something, so excuse me for calling it an action command. <laughs> I do that in other RPGs, too, like, other... Other RPGs, I can't think of any off the top of my head right now, that do the same thing, you know, extra damage when you make a hit or something like that. I, I call them action commands. No matter what they're called in the game, I will always call, always refer to them as an action command. So, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, let's take these guys out. Defense up for Gino, that's alright. And nice miss, Toadstool. And defense up for Mario, too. What the heck? That was a weird animation. And. Oh. Never mind. Because Gino has fear, that didn't do nearly enough. I'm, I messed that up. I actually thought I missed. <laughs> I thought I timed it right. And take out this doppel. Perfect. The amount of experience we're gaining is ridiculous. And that's a max mushroom. Just for the sake of item rotation, I'll throw out the old one. <laughs> The old one has probably been s sitting there crammed in Mario's pocket for about six weeks now. <laughs> I think I think it might be slightly good if I get rid of it. <laughs> These little booze are no trouble. No trouble at all. Okay, except for that. That was not okay. <laughs> I'll give you that one. <laughs> Taking 22 of my health. Jeez. Peach, I know that's a frying pan, but can you actually hit something with it, please? If anything, Mario should be the one missing. He's the one using a giant... Well... I suppose he is using a giant projectile, so maybe the one who should be missing is Gina. Okay, yep, yeah, right. You didn't have to prove it. 
<laughs> Would have been nice if you actually hit them. <laughs> I like how Gino and Toadstool are constantly seem to be missing the little booze, but every time Mario's attacked one, he's just gone, the attack's just gone through. The game's like, oh yeah, it's Ma it's Mario, I'll let that through. I'll let that one slide. <laughs> Scream on Mario, so that's fear again. The trouble is, if you do a timed hit, and you don't and you think you've done it right, because the the timing on a timed hit is really, really lenient. Eerie jig. Alright then. <laughs> That's a new one. The timing on a timed hit is quite large, especially for attacking. Uh just defend, Toadstool. So if you, if you pr are pretty sure that you're getting the timed hit, at least getting it, and you don't hear any confirmation sounds, then it's probably a missed attack. I'm not the best at timed hits, like, I'm getting them, absolutely, but I'm not getting them at the power I should be getting them at this point, I think. I'm. Because it's so lenient, I'm just ma pressing, not mashing, not mashing, but pressing the A button when I think it is, and it's just going through and dealing extra damage. Gino reaches level 27 anyway, so stop complaining about things and get a move on. Uh, let's upgrade his power again. <laughs> so we're actually coming up on the, oh, Boria. Hmm. As you can see, it's the same same idea. I think this one's actually a little tougher than the other machine maids that we've come up to this far. Yeah, he's withstood a entire attack round there. Which is better than any of the other machine maids so far. I was gonna say, geez, he's got a lot of health, actually. But he's still only lasted two rounds, so... So, we're actually coming up on... the maximum level we can actually reach in the game. The maximum level you can get to is level 30. And we're pushing level 27 now. So, we're doing pretty well, I think. I'm not sure what my level is the first time I actually beat the game. It's on the save file, so... But, I don't think it's anywhere this close, so... Anyway, we got more Axum Rangers again. These are basically standard enemies at this point. Pedal Blast is nasty and does a lot of damage, but that's really all that I'm worried about against these guys. It it doesn't even do much damage, to be fair. It just turns everybody into mushrooms. But fortunately, because Mario's still got the true form pin on him, and he's, I think he's had that for the majority of the game, because of that, he's not transforming, so he's the one doing all the killing against these guys. Because <laughs> Axe and Pink always seems to activate the Pedal Blast attacks. So... Oh, now we got Axum Black and Axum Yellow. Alright. Interesting. Still quite weak. <laughs> it's just that we've got two of each of these guys instead. I wonder why they grouped them up like this. There's probably some reason for it. Body slam, that did two damage. It's a bomb. I wonder why they grouped up Yellow Axum Ranger and Black Axum Ranger. HP Max Vegeta, that's really nice. 
Mario could do with some of that action. Once again for Toadstool. All right, fair enough. If you insist. <laughs> Body slam on Toadstool. And then, like, they put Axum green, red, and pink together. So I wonder why they did that. Oh, well, anyway, they're dead now. And they're worth the same amount of experience points as these guys, so... The game's really trying to push us up those last few levels. Meteor Blast again. Mario's starting to hurt a little bit, so... I might have to heal him up. Axe and Pink missed the Petal Blast on Geno, and that will be her undoing. Axe and Red's gonna throw his turn. He's not really throwing it, but the fact that he dies pretty damn quickly after using that <laughs> is why I say he's throwing his turn. And Bowser reaches level 27 as well. And I think that would be his power, yeah. Power gets a boost. Valor up. And of course, Meteor Blast, and then Petal Blast. <laughs> These guys are becoming regular as clockwork. <laughs> so predictable. <laughs> They're doing... They have exactly the same first turn every time I battle them. This time, Toadstool was missed. <laughs> Maybe I should take the true form pin off Mario just so he can get his health back. <laughs> just, just by getting attacked by Petal Blast and then just gradually build up the health. Oh, Axum Green is casting Elegy now this time. Alright. Let's mute on Toadstool. Still a Petal Blast. It's okay, Toadstool, you won't be muted for long, you'll be a mushroom. <laughs> Alright, what have we got here? We got more Boyas, alright. Toadstool, I'm gonna make you cast a little therapy on Mario that he needs a little bit of health. What was that? That, like... That was weird, it activated on the blocks as well. Did you see that? That's kind of weird. <laughs> I wonder if that was an oversight or if it's just a random glitch that just so happened to play out somehow. And this should finish you, I think? No, I guess not. This should, though. No. Alright, well, you've locked my specials, but that's fine. As long as you don't lock my regular attack, I don't care. <laughs> I use my regular attack more than I use my specials at this point, so... <laughs> and we've got a save block here. Alright. On the save. Actually, whilst I'm here, one was... Yeah, I was at level 29 the last time I battled Smithy, so... Alright, what have we got here? We've got Yardoviches! You can see what's going on, they're getting tougher and tougher. Alright, Mario... And this guy knows Meteor Blast as well, that's great! <laughs> It's exactly what I want to see. It's funny how Toastal's taking pretty much no damage to that. See, the first time I played through this game, I equipped Toadstool with the, um... with the Lazy Shell armor. I'm surprised she's taking as many hits as she is. Mario reaches level 28. 
Looks like HP goes up the most, but it only goes up by two extra points. So I'm actually going to round out his attack power. And Toad still reaches level 27. Uh, that's attack power. Cool. Oh, that blew up. And now we've got these guys. These are like cool little ninjas. Kind of like bombs, actually. It looks like there's a key or something on the back. They're actually called ninjas. Okay, wow. Took 294 da- Okay. I mean, if you want to commit suicide, you go right ahead, buddy. I'm not going to stop you, especially if I'm going to win the battle from it. I'm going to increase Mallow's power. If you want to throw the battle, you go right ahead. <laughs> I ain't going to stop you. See if I can take one of them out this time. Man, they've got a lot of health. And then they kill themselves. <laughs> As a counter-attack, they just kill themselves. So, I guess it's just... I, I suppose that's what happens when they have lethal damage. They just end up killing themselves. Sandstorm. Very little damage, but fear on all of us, so we'll be doing less to him. Take us a little bit longer to take this guy out now. Sandstorm again. You know, just in case, just in case we didn't have fear before, you thought you'd cast that again. <laughs> All right. Cool. That was a bunch of experience points. That was almost 50 there. I think we can jump down that hole as well. I'm not sure what's down there, I can't remember. So I might do that, actually. Oh. And you're dead. <laughs> it's funny how they do that. They basically assign lethal damage, so they just kill themselves. But they have to attack first. That's interesting. Flaming stone. You chucked a giant fireball at my face and you did one damage. Toadstool's dress didn't even get slightly singed. It's like it had the exact same effect of walking up and poking someone. That's it. <laughs> oh, that did a thing. Oh, okay. Mwee hee hee! Behold, they've taken the bait. Hee hee hee! I guess I can spare a few minutes. Maybe they'd like to play. Alright, our next boss battle. Let's Geno boost Mario. Attack up and defense up. Uh, Toadstool. Yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> So, Koika and Domino. Believe it or not, there's actually two phases to this battle. If we take out one, the other gets more powerful. And I'm not sure which one I should be taking out. So, you know what? Let's just cast an Ultra Jump on both of them. Except I messed it up really badly. Endo Bubble. As long as it doesn't end my game, I don't care what you do. Uh, let's cast a Geno boost on Geno as well. Attack up and defense up. Again, this is not going to do much, but every little bit helps. <laughs> so let's cast an Ultra Jump and actually do it this time. That was much better. Endo bubble again. There's just more fear on Peach. I'm not too concerned about that. Um, I might. 
You know what? It's probably not even worth casting therapy at this point. Or group hug. 42. Okay, now it's getting a little bit more serious. <laughs> now it's getting a little bit more required. Bounce. 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 Phew, what weaklings. How shameful if they were to defeat me. So we move up a little bit. It's clobbering time. And Domino synchronizes together with the King Cobra. Again, Cloaker has his own Cobra, I believe. I'm not too sure which one's easier though, so I'll have to look that up. And he's doing a ton of damage and he's cast fear on us as well. Um, I'm gonna blast him with a Geno Blast. Boy, that felt slow for some reason. Kaboom! I did nothing. Alright. <laughs> I'm going to cast... Group Hug. Cool. And another jump. I'm not sure... I don't think I'm supposed to be attacking the Cobra. It doesn't look like that's doing a whole lot. And Ice Rock. Ow. 192 damage! Holy crud! Take it easy, man! Um... I think I might just Geno boost with Geno from now on. Attack up and defense up for Mario. And a little more group hug, please, Toadstool, if you don't mind. That gets everybody fighting fit again. Uh, sure. Ultra jump. Let's do it. I think Domino's King Cobra focuses a lot more on special attacks. And Cloaker's focuses a lot more on, um, regular attacks. I think. I'm not too sure. I know that each one has their own snake. And the snake isn't determined until you kill one. What the hell is that? Uh, not nice attack. Okay. I'm gonna use a maple syrup. And cast a little group hug, maybe? Yeah, sure, why not? And I... Th I'm gonna try a Ultra Flame on these guys, just to see what happens. Burn! Man, the special effects on Domino are actually really hammering the frame rate of the game. It feels like I should have done a heck of a lot more there. <laughs> Um, Geno boost Mario again. Attack up and defense up. And I think Toadstool's okay at the moment. I might actually try to cast Mute. Mad Adder, sorry, it's not a King Cobra, but close enough. Mute. Uh, what do I gotta do? Rotate the control pad. I'm not sure if that worked or not. <laughs> uh, let's do an ultra jump again.
I don't think that mute worked. <laughs> Something tells me that mute did not work. <laughs> and Ice Rock. Alright. Hmm. 111 damage. Maybe I'm going about this all wrong. Yes, I am. Okay. Just use regular attacks, it's fine. Uh, let's cast more group hug. So I've been messing this up this entire time, trying to use strong attacks when I should have been just using regular attacks the whole time. So they're weak to the... Right, okay, that makes more sense now. Okay, I goofed up, but that's fine. At least I discovered it before it was... before I was completely wrong. I might even be attack... I mean, I still might be attacking the wrong thing. I might have to attack the Mad Adder instead. So let's focus on the Mad Adder. So I think... So Koika has a weakness to special attacks, and Domino has a weakness to regular attacks. Boulder. Alright. It's a good thing I figured that out and didn't go through the entire battle and use up all my star points. Now that I know that, I can focus more on using my star points to heal and Geno boost. Speaking of, I don't have enough to do it and I don't really want to waste a turn. Uh, although, I do need some more health, so I'm gonna throw a maple syrup out there. Thanks, Geno. And then I'm going to cast a little more group hug on the team. Perfect. And then we'll just blast away. 456 damage, man. <laughs> That's much better. <laughs> Great. Everyone's asleep. This is not gonna end. I'm, I'm screwed. I don't think we've got this. Simply because everyone's asleep now. Until I wake up, we are just gonna be hammered by attacks. And no one's waking up. This is gonna hurt. And probably kill us. Man, someone wake up! Toadstool! Someone! Toadstool, come on! Are you kidding me? We're just gonna sit here and take all of this. So, thank you, Gino. All right. What have we got? Nothing that's really gonna help. Toad still needs to stay in. Get a freebie. Toadstool's back in the fight now. Thank God for that. And we can cast Therapy on Mario. I should have cast Group Hug, actually. Phew! That was close. Wow, okay, and we just... <laughs> I, I only needed to get one more attack off to finish him. God damn it. <laughs> oh! And immediately into a Yadovich. Alright, we'll battle this guy, and then I'm gonna see if I can find another save point. There should be one soon, I hope. Well, that was... that got really hairy for a minute there. I was put to sleep, and no one was waking up. We've been through that before with Exor, so... Oi. It's a good thing we have a lot of health. <laughs> and a fair bit of defense. Because otherwise, we would not have survived. And the fact that Gino woke up when he did. <laughs> if Gino hadn't woken up, we would have been screwed. Jeez, Yadovich gives a lot of experience. I'm gonna see if I can go back to here. Alright. Perfect. And with that... I think that's a good spot to leave the episode. So, we'll see you guys on the flop side when we tackle the rest of Smithy's Factory. Oh boy, we've seen the next part. 
but how far can we get through? See you guys on the flop side. Catch you then, and thanks for watching.